thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us. Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous. The reading is from St. Paul's first epistle to the Corinthians. Brethren, God has revealed us the apostles last of all as those appointed to death. For we have become a spectacle to the world, both to angels and to men. We are fools for Christ's sake, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are glorified, but we are dishonored. Even to this present hour we both hunger and thirst. We are naked, we are buffeted, we are restless. We labor working with our own hands. When reviled, we blessed. When persecuted, we endured. When blasphemed, we exhort. We have become the filth of the world and the offscoring of all things, even until now. I do not write these things to make you ashamed, but to admonish you as my beloved children. For though you have a myriad of tutors in Christ, Yet you do not have many fathers. For I begat you in Christ Jesus. Through the gospel I beseech you, therefore, be imitators of me. He Attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Let us attend. At that time, a man came up to Jesus, and kneeling before him, he said, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is an epileptic and suffers terribly, for he often falls into the fire or often into the water. And I brought him to your disciples, and they could not heal him. And Jesus answered, O oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him here to me. And Jesus rebuked him, and the demon came out of him, and the boy was cured instantly. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, Why could we not cast it out? And Jesus said to them, Because you have no faith. For truly I say to you, If you have faith, even as a grain of mustard seed, you will say to the mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible to you. But this kind never comes out of anything except prayer and fasting. As they were traveling together through Galilee, Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is to be delivered into the hands of men, and they will kill him, and he will rise on the third day. 